Great beat the more back. How y'all doing? It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. I want to talk about something really serious today because there's been a lot of miseducation going on in this world. And because of the miseducation, you must subscribe to La Amiga. Hit the subscribe button right now because a lot of these videos, you're going to be like, I need to be making sure that I get notified when this dude come up here. Because as you see the title of the video, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Ever go to Bible study? If you, if you have ever went to Bible study and you never had a metaphysical Bible dictionary, y'all was just there to hang out. Everybody, John 11, verse 42. Let's go to it. John 11, verse 42 through 57. Great big, yes. Why did you give me John 11, verses 42 through 57? The reason why I gave you John 11, verses 42 through 57, because this is why I know that Jesus did not die for your sins. Verse 42. And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I say it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. That was Jesus talking. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Remember the story about Lazarus being raised from the dead? Well, do you know about Lazarus? Do you know what Lazarus means? And also remember, lesson for everybody who watches videos, every character in the Bible is you at one point in your life. Every last one. And if you read the stories, you'll say, I did go through something like that. So let's find out who Lazarus is and what Lazarus means because I was never taught that when I was growing up in Sunday school and I know you weren't either. And if you were taught, you probably was taught wrong. Lazarus. Looking in the metaphysical Bible dictionary so we can clear things out, so we can move forward and stop having a goofy um, life as people on this planet, believing all this stuff that it's not, hmm. Lazarus refers to the part of the consciousness that is helped by the good, though apparently utterly neglected by the man himself. The, Lazarus was a man whose consciousness was dead, but he wasn't. But his consciousness was dead, and that's why the story talks about him being dead. You understand about Lazarus now? In the parable, Jesus describes the state of consciousness of one who passes through the change called death. The rich man and Lazarus represent the outer and the inner consciousness of the average, worldly-minded person. 